Hi, this is Carl, aka the best monster, and I'm gonna take you through a tour of my aquaponics setup. Over here we have our fish tank. It's covered in a, a space blanket type material to keep the sun out. And here we have some fishies on them because they are quite scared. Um, I'm just gonna close this lid here. Right. This fish tank has an overflow right over there, and it overflows into the sump. Uh, yeah. And the sump we have uh, on the, this pipe here, uh, there's a pump at the bottom, and we've got high pressure water going up there, and it's going that way, and it's also going that way. Uh, in this case, going all the way to the vortex filter. The water enters from about there and it creates a swirling motion inside the filter and rises up. Uh, inside here at the top, we've got some uh, Japanese matting. It's like a high surface area type material. This is just my net. So the water rises and it fixes the filter through this pipe here and enters the fish tank. Uh, the idea of the filter is to remove solids. Solids uh, all settle down on the bottom piece there, and through this pipe I can drain the solids. The idea is to have a deep water culture system in series with the tank, but since I don't have my raceways yet, uh, the water is just going down into the fish tank. Um, also, right here by the drain, you'll see there's a, there's a, a, a one inch pipe coming from the high pressure line that's going right up here, and I've got it's teeing off on the left hand side. Uh, I've got a few drops going into my duckweed tank and it's overflowing at the back uh, right into the fish tank and here we have uh, my lint which I've uh, radically, radically cut back it's just a constant stream going into there and just emptying right there into the fish tank uh, to give you an idea uh, this is everything I harvested from the mint it's uh, pretty damn ridiculous. Um, then, um, getting back to the high pressure water, the other side of this tea piece goes into my grow bed. The grow bed is a, a, a quarter of an IBC tank, and I've got my auto siphon, and I've got a little bit of water coming in here. Uh, you should be able to see the water and I can adjust the flow rate by this valve. Uh, those of you who don't, who don't know how, to, how an auto siphon works, go Google it. But, uh, basically, this is my bell, and there you can see my stand pipe, um, and that's all there is to it. Let me just get it back. I've got some various kinds of chilies. I've got a uh, small tomato that I rescued out of the sand, and then I've got my prized tomatoes. They are really, really big. I've got four of them. And from the same seedling tray, I also planted two inside those pots right there. If you can have a look, it's a, quite a hell of a difference between these two plants. Uh, but they are the same age and from the same seedling tray. This is an additional tank that I've put up today. Uh, it's, get, it's also getting high pressure water from the high pressure line. I'll just remove the lid. <sighs> this is the new tank. Uh, I've got water coming in there, and I've got a, a solid lifting overflow coming from the bottom. Uh, it's quite a unique design. Uh, you can check the blog for details. I'm hoping this will be the ultimate in, in solid lifting overflow. You can see I've got a couple of female pelopias in there. Uh, they're also quite shy. Then, my high pressure water, as you recall, coming from the pump, also goes to the right and it goes past the chicken coop. Um, they are not part of the aquaponic system yet, uh, but the water goes on the back and it enters my small fry rearing tank. You see I've got a million and six uh, little uh, fingerlings. Also got, hey, what's that fish doing there? There's another fish there, it shouldn't be there. Uh, yeah, I've got another female that's not in very good shape 
Uh, the males have been banging her up a bit, so I'm just keeping in, her in here to have a break. So I've got a I've got a standpipe drain in the middle, but we've got slits on the side, and the water is draining via this overflow megafta. Uh, basically, the bend on that side is, is uh, um, regulating the the water level inside the the tank, and it's draining through here back around the chicken cage all the way back into the sump. So I've basically got one high pressure line feeding all the systems and I've just got overflows all the way back to the sump. And this is my system. I hope you enjoyed it.